Cooking with the vegan zombie. Hey gang. So we're gonna develop a taco because we're still in the Mexican theme here and I wanted to work with some jackfruit. We're gonna make ourselves some delicious pineapple jackfruit tacos because you know what? I wanted to go tropical and I wanted to bring you guys on a nice tropical vacation and since we all can't go there, I'm gonna put some tropical in your mouth. We are gonna get started by making our pineapple barbecue sauce. Two tablespoons of olive oil, two cups of chopped pineapple. Cook that on medium high for about five minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna add one six ounce can of organic tomato paste. Bloop. We're gonna vinegar it up with two tablespoons of vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of Edwards and Sons Worcestershire salt. Worcestershire, sounds like a sneeze. Awesome stuff, this is the one of the only vegan brands of Worcestershire sauce out there, so make sure you check that out. Regular Worcestershire sauce usually has little anchovies in it. A quarter cup of molasses, one and a half to two tablespoons of liquid smoke. That's gonna be so smoky and delicious. You guys, you guys are gonna love it. Here's where the real flavor comes in. We've got in this thing right here, cumin powder, chili powder, chipotle powder, a little bit of garlic powder, some salt, mustard powder, and chili powder. We'll dump that in right now. Stir it in there. Oh, it smells good already. And as if it wasn't sweet enough, we're gonna go even sweeter with adding a quarter to a half a cup, depending on how sweet you wanna go, of sugar. Coconut palm sugar from Ogio, uh, brown sugar. Now you're basically gonna let this cook down on a medium, low medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes until the pineapple is really soft and dissolves right into the sauce, or it's just really, really soft. So you've been cooking this barbecue sauce for about 10, 20 minutes, stirring constantly so nothing sticks at the bottom. And now you got yourself nice, soft, little chunks of pineapple. We're gonna blend it all up now. It's so thick, it's almost like barbecue ice cream. Lieutenant Dan ice cream. All right, we got all them in there. So now we're gonna blend all this up and remember, take the top off so you have a vent for the steam and it doesn't go all over your face. Burn it right off. That smells like delicious barbecue sauce. Okay, so the sauce is all blended up and at this point you're gonna wanna add a little bit of salt just to season it a little more. You're getting the heat, you're getting the sweet, it's smoky and delicious, but at this point you just wanna top it off with a little bit more sea salt. We got the Himalayan sea salt from Ogio I'm using. You can use regular sea salt, that's fine. Adding about a teaspoon. I started with a quarter to a half a teaspoon while I was cooking everything. I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit more. So our barbecue sauce is ready to go. now. Let's talk about the jackfruit. What do we do with the jackfruit? We have here, from Edward and Sons actually, they just came out with a young jackfruit, canned version. Um, now the young jackfruit is treated in sa savory dishes. Uh, if you let it ripen, it's actually a, a very sweet fruit. So they pick it young and they can it and they put a little sea salt, a little lime juice in there. And this is what it looks like after it's been strained. It's got a pinkish hue to it. It tears apart and it tastes salty. So we're gonna use this as our meat in the jackfruit tacos. That's why it's called a jackfruit taco. We're gonna do medium heat. We're gonna pour about a half a cup, three quarters of a cup of sauce in there. We are gonna stir in our jackfruit. While it's heating up, kind of break the jackfruit apart by pushing down on it. And you only need to cook this for maybe five minutes. I want the jackfruit to really absorb the barbecue sauce. You can stop right here if you don't feel like tacos for the night and have yourself a nice barbecue pulled, not pork taco, pulled jackfruit. We'll call it what it is. I just thinly sliced this guy. I'm gonna put it on top, but you can make guacamole and use that instead, that's fine. I just heated up a couple of these corn tortillas. Ready to go. We're gonna start with a layer of this rice. Now this is a coconut jasmine rice that I made. I seasoned it with a little bit of veggie stock when I cooked it. And add a little bit of 
of salt and some extra virgin coconut oil. Make sure you stir that in at the very end because otherwise it'll burn at the bottom of the pan and smell up the whole house and all the zombies will come and eat. It's awful. Now we're gonna add our barbecue jackfruit. Yummy. I mean, I'm making it for me, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go big, you know? Pineapple-y, sweet, and spicy with that chipotle. Oh, it smells so good over here. I wish you guys could smell it, but you can't. You just can't. Okay, now we'll do one with our tomatillo salsa that we already did a video for, so make sure you check that out. And then another one with our mango salsa. Spinach chiffonade. You can use lettuce. I like spinach. Popeye likes spinach too, so. And it looked worked out really well for him. My thinly sliced avocado on top. Mmm. I'm gonna put a little bit of that chili sauce that I made. You can use hot sauce, whatever you want. Oh, this is gonna be a saucy taco. You don't need the sauce because you have the barbecue sauce on the bottom, but I love sauce. Sauce on sauce on sauce on sauce all the time. We're gonna use our cashew sour cream. Oh my goodness. We got our tacos all made. I can't wait to try it. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna do the one with the tomatillo sauce on it. Oh yeah. Oh, there's so much going on in there. You guys are gonna love this recipe. Let me try the other one. Just, you know what, I have to. Yeah, make sure you guys try this recipe. This one is a lot of fun. It's got so many different flavors in there. It's, it's like a, it's a tropical taco. In fact, I feel like I could be on a Caribbean cruise right now eating this. Speaking of which, we're gonna be doing some food demos and some other cool things on a cruise in October. The details are below. If you guys wanna go on a little vacation, hang out with us, check it out. And also, you know, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Vegan Zombie 2, where we got all the behind the scenes details. Um, you know me, I'm being a moron all the time, so it's just even more on. I'm gonna finish this jackfruit taco, so I guess uh, if I live long enough, I'll see you another time. Mm -hmm. I need my tomato paste. Where is my tomato paste?